adoption. The other one, the the um grandmother on the daddy's side has them. Like she only got pop. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's so I'm trying to figure out what kids are you trying to save and all of this and that. Like I'm not understanding. So basically, we are here, you know, because Brandon has thought, oh, okay, they got potential. You know what I'm saying? Like, they might be by the bag, okay? Let's help them out. Yeah, you know, yeah, try to get their check right, try to help them. I see that they was they was live all day, you know, wasn't taking no showers. They sit in the house all day, was sitting on the floor, thought they could help them out, you know, give them a fresh start. They was complaining about being a tech agency and they wasn't eating. And shit like that. So, you know, we put them on 20 boxes for the day. Shout out to Keys and all the supporters. So y'all came through and did y'all door deals. Y'all give a motherfucker 20 boxes for the day. If they don't understand the bag right there, I don't know what to tell them. So with some people, they can't be taught. When you don't understand 20 boxes, shit. Huh. You ain't even get that where you was at. Huh. You get 20 boxes for a day and the motherfucker tell you some shit like that, shit. They got a problem. They, they, if you get 20 boxes one day, you can't be taught. Mm, mm. You messed up in the head. And then those were welcome gifts on top of that. Man. Those weren't even, those were no other gifts. Those are welcome to Keys gifts. And mm -hmm. y'all fucking flopped that over what? Yeah, they were sitting on the floor. Y'all see that? They sitting on live all day, always sitting on the floor, not doing shit. You know, the paper plates and shit like that. I felt bad. I just feel like at a certain point of your life, like you gotta can't be eating on styrofoam plates and shit like that. Like, you know, I just felt bad. Where the glass is at? What? Last time I seen a paper, uh, styrofoam cup and plate was at, like, you know, a little birthday party or something. When the homies drinking. But other than that, ain't no glasses. Okay, so this was trying to be cute. So I'm would you... Saying. So, sir, sir, would you would you say that you made a mistake or what? Hell no, that's a good ass, look, that's a good ass investment. But I, you can't blame me for them not knowing they worth. That's them. That's they not knowing they worth. They not used to getting showered with love. That's the problem. A lot of people they don't they don't get love. Like they don't get love in real life. Uh -huh. Shit, you can't blame me for that. They don't know they worth. They don't get love in real life. Thank you, boo. That's unhappiness. That's true. So, that's true. That's a liability. Business is about assets and liability. <laughs> like dead ass. Ain't nobody else gonna say that they ever went into an agency got 20 boxes that day. Not one person ever been on Bego has ever said they got 20 boxes in one day on their first day on the, on the down. Just you know, because you came into Just because. That's not gonna happen. agency. Just you because you signed look. up with an agency. Look, you that. signed up Look, look, you, you surround yourself with flops, you're going to be a flop as well. Period. So I do think that name you gave him yesterday. I think it fit, don't it? Queen Flops. It flop. fit, definitely fit. Queen Flops. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she she said herself, she used to sitting around, people just watching her, they're not gifting. And mm -hmm. now you got people watching you and gifting. And you don't know what to do with that? Shit. How? I don't understand. How can... Mm -hmm. How can... You deserve everything that's associated with that. How can people let other people interfere with their money? They bag. Like whole bunch of, then it's a whole bunch of weirdos on these. A whole bunch of flops on this. Uh, wow. And then, you know, the same ones that the same ones that brought her across the street, knowing damn well you ain't supposed to be live when you a broadcast on Bigo. You cannot stream on any other app, y'all. Okay. No other app. And the same ones they they trapped your ass. Trapped them. It's like we don't just talk to you and make you seem like. Let, let me, um, let me re- I'm trying to do my Trina B. Because I feel like you, Trina B. 
I feel like you right now when you say, you get mad and you say, let me, I'm going to read that, that B-E, I'm going to read that, you know what I'm trying to say, let me read her real quick, as Kiwan say, Ebone, let me read Ebone real quick, Ebone, Ebony, let me tell you something. You should keep your mouth off of people with integrity, because you have none. Let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. You have no integrity. You proved to us this weekend. Ashley China Red, you talking about somebody who keep coming back and putting a smack down on Ebb every six months. She fight in between. Never give up, never give out, and come back and smack Ib down. Because, see, I told you before, Ib, I told you before that you cannot take her out. She was born for this, looks like. She understands it. She been through this backwards and forwards with people dragging her, trying to get her arrested. And you never can take her out, and then she always come back and put that smack down on you. She came back and smacked you down. From everything I heard on Sunday, she smacked you down and you hate it. And let me tell you something, you can't come for people with integrity. You can't come for people with integrity. I don't know nothing about Shell and Queen Op personal life like you trying to discuss. Because you hear some stuff on social media and we know social media stuff ain't all facts. But you discussing it as facts and get mad when people discuss Josh as facts, discuss Carla May as facts, discuss your kids' business as facts. You get mad and claim, oh, it's just social media. Well, this is just social media. You should not be discussing Queen Ops' personal life as facts. And Brandon, you, sh you actually put the smack down on you. They showed who you really are. And you and Ebony, Ebony Bone, as Kiwan said, shout out Kiwan, I like Ki Kiwan, I'm just calling him Kiwan. But, um, shout out to the people who have integrity right now, okay? The people who wouldn't do what y'all are doing and what y'all are trying to get away with. Shout out to them people. Shout out to Queen Up and Shell. Who seen what Brandon was doing, and in their heart of hearts, in their mind of minds, they said, I ain't gonna be played like Ebone. I ain't no sellout like Ebone. I'm sorry the money look good. I'm sorry the money smell good. I'm sorry Brandon came and threw us a good pitch, but he ain't gonna be texting me. He ain't gonna be making me get into it, people. I don't wanna get into it with. He ain't gonna pimp me out for Beagle for his pockets. Josh is pimping Ebone out to Brandon. Josh don't give a F thing. Whatever Brandon wants to do to Eb, he is welcome to do it because Brandon is putting that uh, bag in her pocket and Josh wants that baggy bag. Josh don't care about that girl. I was going to say the other name. He don't care about that black girl because she make herself look so black. But you don't know nothing about integrity, Ebone. You really sitting there talking like selling your soul. And when she say sticking to the script, y'all, she mean doing whatever Brandon tell her to do for money because she never had money before. When she talk about st st sticking to the script, she mean to do whatever you got to do. If you got to lay people out that wants help you, such as Ashley trying to read help her, it means go behind their back. It means, you know, talk about them. It means do whatever you got to do for a bigger bag than what they can give you. She sells her soul for friends. She's all about selling her souls. And see, Empress Paris Memoirs and T.T. Men was on that train for a little bit, and they had to get off that train. They said, nah, 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 we like money. We, we, we willing to do some things for money, but this is going a little bit too far. And Empress Paris said it today because I got it recorded. She said, People can only, you know, people only get one time to show me who they is, and I'm done. Empress Paris, thank you for letting us know that Brandon had one time to show you, because you've been done with him. And we don't blame it. I shouted you out before. Shout out to Empress Paris. Shout out to you, Queen Out. Listen, you guys, we need to support 